What's up, you two? I'm back. You in another video. Today, we're back to Javon the, the one anime story. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, and the notification bell, man. So, this is one of my top five anime YouTubers in 2021. So, we wreck to Overthink and Destroy Me. So, check it out. Overthinker. A really bad overthinker. So bad to the point where I become overly cautious about everything. Like, like, I need constant answers and responses just to keep my calm. It's a trait about myself that I've finally accepted and currently am trying to overcome okay. after it almost destroyed a lot of my friendships, made me miss a lot of opportunities, ruined my mental, spiritual. Oh, I gotta take my hair, bro. My hair looks so weird in the camera, bro. I'm also my. That's why I'm talking about my hair so much, but let's have to look at it real quick. I see that frog, and you know it's kind of nappy. So what? So what? What you gotta say now? Why? <gasps> All right. Almost made people distance themselves from me because I tried to fix situations that weren't even a problem to begin with. It's so bad to the point where I get so paranoid about certain situations and I'll think of every possible way something can go wrong. Like, I'll hesitate and I'll think about that something all day and it'll turn into a conflict that I want an immediate answer to. And if I don't get a solution, then my mind will start making 30 more unnecessary problems. For example, the other day, 7 o'clock in the morning, I walked in this smoothie joint early as a mug, got to the counter to order, and okay. walks towards me with the biggest smile, full of life and enthusiasm. I'm ready, I'm ready, thinking I'm going to be a regular Joe and order one or two smoothies. Mm, let me get uh, four mango smoothies. Instantly, that smile dropped it like it's hot. Her entire aura shifted from I'm ready, I'm ready, to I'm not ready, I'm not ready. She dipped to the back and go make my smoothies. <laughs> Three minutes later, she walked out with them still. Why are you still like mad? Why are you still mad, huh? I had to screenshot that. Yeah. Hey, all right, bro. Shoot herself in the foot. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Looking like. Swift from a happy mood to a mad mood. Like, what? What you mad for? Like, ain't this what you signed up for? Ain't this your job? I guess you ain't ready to make that money. As soon as I get to the car, I realize to myself that she she made them drinks mighty fast. Like. This is what I usually get, and it usually takes somewhere around six to seven minutes. What if she's been on drop to the dump? No, no, no. She had it up to the dump. Maybe she put bleach in it. She probably put laxatives in my drink. You never know. She could have made you do doing yourself for the rest of the week. Sucks, man. I know the feeling all too well. It's the thing that keeps you awake at night. It leaves you struggling to make decisions. It makes you second guess yourself in the decisions you make. It leaves you dwelling on a problem. Yeah, I always make, I always make the dumbest decisions, bro. I always get two questions. I always get the worst one. I don't know why I'm stop. Now hear me out. I ain't no professional, but I deal with this same thing, so I can only give you my advice based on what I do specifically to overcome my overthinking. This is just what I do. You can try it out. I'm not guaranteeing you anything will work instantly because things don't happen overnight. Here's some things that I do that you can do as well to try to overcome your overthinking along with me. Number one, I think about the here and the now. Forget about the past, the future you can't touch. Just focus on the present. In the heat yeah. of the moment, stop, breathe, and assess to yourself what you're thinking and how you feel. Try to be more aware of your thoughts and not let your thoughts consume you. The goal here is to monitor them so you can understand what they are and why you're feeling this way. I do this a lot. Hope that helps. Number two, I stop worrying about what I can't control and focus on what I can control. So, for instance, if you got a test in an hour and haven't studied the first note, don't sit there and think deeply on how impossible it is to study that much in a short period of time and accept an F. Take a step back, focus, and study as much as you can in that short period of time. Any studying yep. is better than no studying at all. You never know. You might get lucky and cop a D or a C instead of an F off that short studying alone. Try it out. See what happens. Number three, manifestation. If you constantly tell yourself, oh, 
I'm a bad overthinker or anything of that nature, like I tell myself, then that won't help at all. You're basically limiting yourself without knowing it. So instead of doing that, replace those thoughts with the opposite. Thoughts that'll lift you up, not indirectly tear you down. Remember, you got power over your emotions. Your emotions don't have power over you. You know, unless you're a psychopath. I believe that what we say to ourselves is what we believe we are. If I constantly tell myself, oh, I don't overthink things, I don't let my past dictate my future, or I'm a clear thinker, and make the executive effort to make these positive emotions reality, then you're doing more good to yourself than bad. Try it out. Number four, I practice becoming aware of what I fear. A lot of times, we as human beings fear our imaginations more than we fear what's in the real world. Like, yeah. we're afraid more of what might happen or what might be. A mistake we can make, what people think of us, failures, all the above. These are some of the reasons why we overthink, in my opinion, based off of my experiences. So to combat this, one thing I try to do is to just jump into action with a contingency plan. Basically, constant acts of courage. Listen to me, and this is based off of experience. The more you put yourself in uncomfortable situations, the more those situations you'll be used to. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. For example, when I can't make a decision quickly beforehand, I'll just take a step back and ask myself, what's the worst that can happen? And when I figured out what's the worst that can happen, I'll make a contingency plan. Personally, I try to take baby steps towards my fears just to see what can happen so my fears won't control me. And, you know, usually this helps me gain more confidence so I can go in less afraid of what can happen. All right. These are yeah. things that I do to overcome this problem daily. I also pray a lot to the big homie upstairs. That really helps a lot because my relationship with the father is very important for my mental health and spiritual health. He's the only person that can supply me with eternal peace. Philippians. I know this ain't your usual story time, Devontae, the one video. I got a playlist if y'all want to go check those out, but I really yeah. wanted to touch on this topic because I feel like there's people out there that may not have guidance. So I really hope this helps somebody out there watching. I want to thank y'all and the big homie upstairs for 400k subscribers on YouTube. It's been a long time coming. I've been creating content on YouTube since 2011 and didn't blow it until 2020. Let me, let me, let me spit a rap for y'all real quick. I had a dream like Luther King. I never stopped until I reached it. They always doubted me. They really thought I couldn't achieve it. Bars, nigga! For my new goals, okay. don't even worry about that, sweetheart. Because this is just the beginning. <laughs> Alright, man. Me to subscribe, like, huh? share. Hit the notification bell. And I'm out. Peace.